Hello YouTube, I am the Periodic Table Guy and I would just like to start off by saying I will be teaching you every single element on the Periodic Table of Elements because it's your best friend and while you might not use it in your daily life and I highly doubt you will unless you're a chemist I would just like to teach you a little bit because you know what I might help you on a test, I might help you on a state test if you get to be an age where you have to take science on the state test but anyway this is going to be a 118 episode series starting from hydrogen all the way to an anoctinium, which is technically an unknown element. So, I mean, there won't be much on those, but we're going to really truck through all these elements and we're going to start off with hydrogen today. Hydrogen, it is a very, very simple, abundant light element. This symbol is the capital H. It's just one capital H. The atomic weight is 1.00794. It is in group number one. It is atomic number one, and it does not have a group name. It's all by itself. It is in the period one, which period is going up and down, and then group is going side to side. And then the energy levels, it has one. The rings around the, uh, around the nucleus, sorry, excuse me. Around the nucleus is one, that's where you get the energy level. The valence electrons is the amount of electrons in that outer ring. And that is one, because there's only one proton and electron. The bonding types is actually a special type of bonding type. It's a dipole-dipole attraction, which occurs when a hydrogen atom bonded is bonded to a strongly electronegative atom and it exists in the area of another electronegative atom with a lone pair of electrons. Other elements in its group, well, there are none. I mean, duh, it's in a group by itself. It's just hydrogen itself and them. Sorry, I tried making a me, myself, and I reference. All right, now that that's kind of awkward and over. All right, so the elemental classification is a non-metal. Hydrogen is a gas. It is colorless. It's boiling point. I put Fahrenheit and Celsius because I know that I'm from the United States and we use Fahrenheit, but I know that every country except for United States and maybe a couple of exceptions uses Celsius. Its boiling point is negative 423.2 degrees Fahrenheit and it's negative 252.9 degrees Celsius. Its melting point is negative 434.5 degrees Fahrenheit and its melting point in Celsius is negative 259.1 degrees. Its density, all right, ready for this one? Its density is 0 0.0000899 grams divided by centimeters cubed. Yeah, that's intense. All right, it is a tasteless, odorless gas, which is highly flammable. 75% of the mass of the universe. I guess I should say on our atmosphere is hydrogen, which is ironic because it's the lightest element on this earth in the atmosphere and it accounts for that much mass, three quarters of it. I mean, just try and wrap your head around the fact that everywhere you look, if you could see it, if it weren't invisible, three fourths of what you would see is hydrogen. Look at your hand and notice the spacings in between it. If you could see it, you would see a whole lot of hydrogen. Hydrogen is everywhere. It is the most abundant element by far, and I am willing to bet money on that. It is light, but it does take up a lot of weight, as I was saying. It takes up a whole ton of weight on this earth, but it's so abundant that it takes up weight. It's hard to explain how it's so light, but there's so much of it that it creates so much mass on this planet. All right, you're probably wondering, you know, who was able to see this invisible gas? Well, I don't know if they saw it or not, but in 1766 in London, England, a man by the name of, and this guy's name is pretty funny, Henry Cavendish discovered hydrogen. And hydrogen comes from the Greek word hydro and genus, meaning water generate. So hydrogen, hydro, water, gen, generate, generates water, 
H2O. I might have just blown a couple people's minds, probably not. But yeah. And a few of the uses for hydrogen is it's, well, not only is it the lightest element in the world, but it lifts elements in balloons. And you're wondering, well, why does it lift? And bro, bro, it does lift. So if you're going to ask, do you even lift? Yes, hydrogen does even lift. Okay, so hydrogen has a lifting element to it. Why? Think about it. If hydrogen is lighter than oxygen, it's going to float, right? If this atmosphere is oxygen, nitrogen, argon, whatever it may be, it's definitely heavier than hydrogen because on the periodic table, it's higher than hydrogen's atomic number. Anything higher than a certain element's atomic number. So, I'll take an element, for example, gold, AU. I believe it's 70... Sorry, 79. It's going to be heavier than one a uh, atom of hydrogen. Why? Because it has more protons. So, oxygen is eight protons. There's hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, ever, nitrogen, seven, oxygen, eight. Yeah, I'm, I sing that periodic table song a lot. You might call me a nerd. And I get sidetracked a lot. But oxygen is eight, and it is going to be heavier than hydrogen. And I know a lot of you might understand, but I'm just repeating it. So if you didn't understand, you might now. O hydrogen will lift because oxygen is below it. So it's trying to get free from all the oxygen, so it goes up. It can be used as a fuel because it's highly flammable. And here's a fun fact. If you mix it with nitrogen, it creates ammonia. I know that uh, I might have made a mistake, so thank you for watching this video. If I did leave a mis if I did make a mistake, leave a comment saying what it is. I will put annotations on the video where that mistake is. And if you liked it, well, I mean the like button is called like for a reason. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, dislike. I mean that's why the button's there. If you if it helped you study for a test and you might need some other scientific things that I can give you, subscribe. But, yeah, and if I helped you with anything, comment. And I can make more videos if you'd like, and I plan on it. But if there's any other topic besides chemistry you'd like me to go over, let me know. Alright, Periodic Table Guy is out. I will see you next time where we will talk about helium. It makes your voice sound like a chipmunk, so yeah. Be sure to watch that. And no, there will not be any experimenting with helium. Bye.